Welcome D-Lab everybody. I know many of you want to build your first tube guitar amp, but when you search out the transformers required, it scares you away. So you've been emailing me, Terry, is there any alternative to the high cost of these power transformers? Well, yes, there is. In this video, I'm going to show you just that. All right, the subject we're going to cover in this video is the power transformer. So for these little three to four watt class A amplifiers, I've been recommending the Hammond 269EX. It's a great little transformer, has the right high voltage and filament current capability that you need to build these amps. However, it's about 75 bucks for this transformer. What's the best alternative? Well, you could take a look at the Triad N68X. So this is actually considered an isolation transformer but what's nice about it is you can come into it with 120 volts AC on the primary and it gives you the option of 120 out or 230 volts out. So you could actually use this as your high voltage power transformer. The other thing you'll have to come up with is a filament transformer. So what you want to locate are one of these little hobbyist 6.3 volt AC transformers at 1.2 amps. It's plenty of current for your little practice amp project. This one here, I located a swap meet for a couple bucks. I also did a little research and found that James Co. Electronics sells something comparable for $10.95. So the N68X averages around $22. And then let's say you got another 10 bucks for your filament transformer. Put these two together and you have your power requirements for a small practice amp. Okay, I have a little bench test set up here so you can see the triad transformer in action. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come out of the transformer into my rectifier cap board. We are gonna apply a load, watch the high voltage on the meter so that you can see that this transformer can easily deliver the current necessary for your tube amp. This transformer has two red wires. That's your primary. This white wire is a shield lead, okay? We are using the 230 volt output leads, which is green, black, and black. And then there's a tap. You have to connect the red, black, and yellow, black together. And that enables the 230 volt output. So I'm going into my little Cub 1 board, and in this case, I have a full wave rectifier on that board. Okay, so we're going to go through rectify. We got some caps to smooth out the DC. And then we have a load resistor, which is 3,500 ohms. So I'm assuming we'll be right around 265 volts. And with that load resistor, it should be 75 milliamps of current. So let's test it. All right, here we go, everybody. I'm plugging her in. There's my high voltage. As I stated, around 265 volts, and we have a 3500 ohm load resistor, so we're pulling 75 milliamps. If you envision you've built yourself a little Class A 6V6 amp, you're not going to be running at that high in current. But if you wanted to run, say, some 6L6s, you could probably pull it off with this transformer because it can easily deliver 75 milliamps of current. All right, so the next step. Let's see this combination in action on a tube amp. So here's a little 6V6 Class A amp that I built for this demonstration. I'm using the Triad N68X and I have a little filament transformer. All the leads dumped down through this rubber grommet to the bottom side of the chassis. Here is my taps connected. And there is my Cub 1 power supply board. The rest of the amp is point to point wired. Let's see what it sounds like. Right, I got the amp powered up. Volume is all the way down. There is absolutely no power supply hum coming from that speaker. Here's full volume. Volume all the way down. Now I'm going to hook up a looper and we'll be able to listen to the amp but I wanted to point out something first. You can see that we have two single triodes here for the preamp. I elected to use a pair of 6AV6s 
which are about five bucks a piece and give you the same gain as a 12AX7. But the 12AX7 is about a $35 tube. So as another cost reduction, I went ahead and utilized the 6A V6s. All right, let's hook up my looper and listen to this amp. Great sounding little lamp that you can build at a discount. All right, that wraps up my little power transformer demonstration. Now, as you guys probably noted, looking at that chassis, I obviously built that to fit into something, and yes, I did. In this case, the amp is inside of this old Regency MR10 receiver cabinet, and here she is pointing. <laughs> Nice retro look for your custom guitar amp project.